Good morning, beautiful people. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting out here, needed some fresh air. I think the AC. I get headaches anyway because of my high blood pressure. I get headaches, but the AC. It's been hot here in North Carolina, very hot. And so we run the AC. <clears throat> And I think the AC is causing me, my headaches to be worse than what they normally are. So, um, you know, I decided to spend more time outside in the fresh air. And I adjusted my, <coughs> my AC levels. I moved it up. Um, so it gets pretty warm in there before the AC kicks in. Um, but yeah, that AC will have a toll toll on your mental health and on your physical health so be careful with your AC and we live in a in a fairly new house the house is only a year no two and a half years old the AC unit is two and a half years old but I think it's just the AC the artificial air itself in the house can cause issues for me for me it probably don't cause you know people other people may not have issues with it, but for me, it do. I have issues with it. Um, so, yeah. So, I decided to just spend as much time as I can outside. Get some work. Get my work done outside. Eat outside. Um, you know, do the things that I normally would do in the house outside. <laughs> I have a lot of apples that I have to peel. Um, um, so, I'll do that outside. <laughs> Um, did I tell y'all what I'm eating this morning? I don't know if I did. I'm eating oatmeal this morning with raisins and almonds, a few almonds and agave. And I'm also eating, I had sliced up a peach and I have cherries. So this is my breakfast this morning. This is what I'm eating on. Um, as you know, I'm trying to improve my physical health. And my mental health, because for many years I have worked on my physical, losing weight, you know, um, making sure my skin look good, and you know, all of this and all that. And I neglected my mental health and my spiritual, spiritual health. So those are the two main things that I'm working on now is my mental health, mental clarity and spiritual. <clears throat> so um yeah so today how am i feeling yesterday i feel better than what i did yesterday i do feel better than what i did yesterday but i still feel i'm still not 100 percent which whatever 100 percent means i don't think i've ever in my lifetime been at 100 <clears> percent <throat> I don't, I don't think I've ever been at 100%. So that is what I am working on. Okay, guys, sorry about that. I'm back. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I have this book. Um, I picked this book up off Amazon, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, How to Lose Your Mind and Create a New One. Okay, that's it. And that is the author. So, yeah, I decided to just read more. I need to read more books. <clears throat> a lot of time I have a tendency of getting a lot of information online, but I think it's best to go directly to the source <laughs> and read it um, and get an understanding, take notes. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I plan on doing. Um, in this book, let me read you some of the... Uh, let's see what the chapters talk about. <clears throat> the quantum you, overcoming your environment, overcoming your body, overcoming time, survival versus creation, three brains, thinking to doing to being, the gap. Chapter eight is meditation, demystifying and mystical and ways of your future. <clears throat> Chapter nine, <clears throat> excuse me, good grief another thing I'm working on. I think since I've been detoxing, a lot of that phlegm and stuff is starting to come up and out. 
Um, next is open the door to your creative state. I apologize for that. Prune away the habit of being yourself. <clears throat> and then he has steps to it. Um, recognizing, admitting, and declaring, and surrendering. And then chapter 12 is dismantle the memory of the old you. And he has steps to that. Observing and reminding. Step 6 is redirecting. Chapter 13, create a new mind for your new future. And step seven to chapter 13 is creating and rehearsing. And chapter 14 is <clears throat> demonstrating and being transparent, living your new reality. So that sounds interesting. I think I'll learn a lot in this book. So, yeah, I will start. I think I'll just read. Um, I don't know why I always skip the introductions, but I always skip introductions in the book. Like, I just want to jump into reading it every time I get a book. But this time, I'm going to take my time, and I'm going to read the introduction first. <laughs> and then I will start reading the chapters. So, I'll just read that real quick. Um, the introduction, and then I plan on, I think I'm going to do a little stretching. I'm going to stretch a little bit because my muscles in my back and my shoulders feel a little tight. It's a little tight. So, um, <clears throat> do that. I'm going to finish working on my flower bed. around. I'm going to finish working around my elephant ears. I planted bugs um, yesterday. So um, it's looking pretty good. The only thing I have to do is put mulch down. I'm going to do that. Um, oh, and peel those apples. Oh, my God. I got to get those apples peeled and make applesauce with those apples. So I'm planning on doing that today. That's it. That's all I'm going to think of doing right now. And Because um, I usually try to plan the whole day step by step of what I'm doing. But I find like that overwhelms me. So I just take a little at a time, do those few little things, and then I add little stuff to the list. That's just the way I have to, that's just the way I have to do it. Um, because I get anxiety or I feel overwhelmed and then nothing gets done. Um, I also decided to limit my um, social media Social media can also be very addictive. I find, I'm finding out that social media can be very addictive. Um, so I am, except for recording videos, um, that's when I get on social media, YouTube, to edit the videos if, I, if it needs editing. Um, but I'm getting to a point now where I don't even think I'm going to start editing my videos anymore. I'm not going to add any music or anything like that. I do like to add pictures at the end of my videos. Um, so I might continue to do that. But as far as having an intro, I'm just going to just, when you see the videos, you're just going to see me. It's just, I'm trying to remove as much stress as I can from my life right now until I can um, until I feel like my mental health is strong enough to handle certain things but right now my mental health is on a scale of one to ten I'm like at a four or a five right now probably more at a four so um, you know it's even hard for me to record these videos it really is um, it's just, it's been hard. It's been really hard. Um, but I do it anyway, um, because, you know, if I'm struggling, um, mentally or physically, I'm sure that there's other people out there that is kind of in the same head space. And so, ooh, that fly. So, um, I want to show that you can still push yourself to, and move forward, you know, do certain things that will help alleviate some of the things in your life. I'm sorry I'm rambling, but I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.